I like, I like, that's a tricky question. Don't ask any awkward questions. I answer them like this, then I go, yes. It's Sean Price and Headmaster of Westmead Prep School. Mr Price? I know Mr. Price. Of course I know Mr. Price. They would probably say attempts to be funny. Um, I would probably class myself as, uh, as telling lots of jokes. Whether those jokes are successful or not, I think, is, uh, is subjective. He's really kind, um, inspirational. I, I hope, anyway, that, that they know that I care, um, that they know that this school means an awful lot to me and each child does. and. I pride myself on knowing a little bit about each child and, and each each person that comes through the gates and I think hopefully that the two things they'd say probably I hope would be that, that A I care a lot about them and B that I probably try and tell too many jokes. He like, he gives us all this like outdoor space, he gives us like a lot of time, like two hours to play. He always cares about other people and um he always like looks out for others. The first thing is that she's always been up, ready, very keen to come to school. And also the things that she's had to do for school at home, she's always been very happy to do. It's never been a struggle to get her to sit down and do her spellings or let's do some times tables or let's do something. She's very happy to do that. So it's almost as if she's you know what school is asking her to do is not is not a problem for her to do it um, and also seeing how much she enjoys t all her team sports at school so I think well she must be because she's she loves the fact that she's around everybody and I think she is in a very happy environment which makes her a very happy child. That happiness for me is, is the, the foundation stone on which we build everything else because I think if they if they can come to school knowing that they're going to have a, an enjoyable day and knowing that they're going to be happy then then when they are faced with challenges that's something that, that will keep driving them through those challenges and get them wanting to come back and wanting them to engage and so on and, and I think what we try and do is is provide a, a culture and environment whatever you want to call it that the children enter into that they know is a positive one and know that they feel valued know that they are looked after that people are interested in them that, that people care for them so that when they do cross the, the, the classroom door or into the playground that they're surrounded by, by people that they are confident have their best interests at heart and they can have fun with, be that members of staff or, or other children, they know they can enjoy and express themselves and, and do what they need to do with a smile on their face. The, the teachers are really good and there's lots of ground so we've got lots of space so we don't all have to cramp in one field. But I don't play in the fields. I play on the bark area with slides and climbing frames and stuff. And sometimes Lily will do things at school and actually not tell us she's done them until afterwards. And I'm a bit like, that's, that's quite a big deal what you've done Lily. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's that sort of inner confidence and courage that she has that actually it's not that, oh my God, how am I going to do it? I'm just going to get on and do it.